The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. Well, 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 back for another story of a stuck truck flipping over at the first race of the NASCAR Truck Series at Daytona? Great! This time we focus on Christopher Bell. Yes, NASCAR Cup Series driver for Joe Gibbs Racing Christopher Bell. Anyways, a 2016 Daytona truck race was happening, trucks going fast, bumping as hard as possible, one lap to go, typical cliche. But before we jump into that, some new NASCAR fans might have some questions. How did the four flip? How many times did the four flip? Did the truck have any issues after the flip? Well, today I'll answer these questions by describing the crash in full detail. I've already set the scene. 2016 Daytona truck race, white flag is out, bumping as hard as possible, and trucks are going really fast. Coming out of the tri-oval, Brandon Brown in the number 68 truck gave William Byron in the number 9 a very aggressive shove. Remember, you don't want to push in the tri-oval. It's not iRacing, and it won't work out. William Byron got loose, but also gained a lot of speed from the push. This resulted in William Byron running into the back of the number 4 of Christopher Bell. As Byron was going up the track trying to save his truck, he bumper locks with Bell and turns him. Bell, in an attempt to save his truck, throws his wheel to the right. Not only did he do that, he also door slammed the number 17 of Timothy Peters and the number 81 of Ryan Truex. Bell goes flying up the racetrack and hits the outside retaining wall. Due to this, his truck begins to start a slight weight shift and his passenger side lifts into the air. However, due to the angle at which Bell hits the wall, his truck rotates 180 degrees around to where his tailgate is facing the wall. With his passenger side still in the air, Bell begins to blow over. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. A blowover is when the air passing by an onrushing vehicle gets underneath it and launches it upwards. While Bell is performing his blowover, his truck is still rotating, and he ends up rotating another 180 degrees, and now his nose is facing the wall again. This is bad for a few reasons, the main one being he just launched a 3,500 pound truck into the air at 180 miles an hour, and is now flipping in the direction the forward momentum is traveling in. If you want to think of this in a simpler term, think of a wheel. Now think of the ground underneath the wheel going at 100 miles an hour. The wheel is still stationary because it's not on the ground. Now put the wheel on the ground and it'll begin rotating very fast. This is pretty much the same principle being implied here. In other words, instead of landing on the track and having the track kill all your flipping kinetics and either send you flipping the other way at a slower pace or even stopping the flip altogether, you're now flipping in the direction that will influence more rolls with near auto racing speed still applied to your vehicle. The air passing by rips the bed cover off, revealing the fuel cell. I do believe this is another crash that helped influence the addition of the NASCAR truck bed flap, but that's just a thought. Bell lands and begins a violent tumble down to the entrance of turn one and comes to rest on all four tires on the apron. On each of Bell's landings, his first landing had him slam his passenger side into the track, then he flipped onto his driver's side, rolled off his roof, hit his A post, B post, and window net into the track, rolled off the bed, slammed the passenger side into the track, destroyed the left front tire axle with an impact it takes to the track, lands on the rear clip into the apron, slams the left front into the racetrack, hits the rear clip into the apron, landed on the upper driver window, rolled off the roof, rolled off the entire front bumper, landed back on the track, rotated 180 degrees pointing the tailgate towards the wall, and rolled over the driver's side one final time, coming to rest on all four tires. There, I've broken down a barrel roll now. Bell's roof was alarmingly dented in, especially over the driver's area. It was also peeled back and ultimately drained of its color, while the front bumper cover was barely hanging on because it felt like it, and the rear tires were hardly sitting on the ground. I'm sure there's fuel all over the racetrack, and virtually anything covering the fuel storage system is completely gone from the racetrack, with the rear bumper hardly hanging on. The left rear quarter panel pushed in violently, and the bed cover only hanging on by two tethers. Bell, somehow by all means, managed to walk away from this crash with only minor injuries at most. This wreck shows a true testament to the safety of NASCAR race trucks, considering that I just wrote a whole paragraph of text, and I'm sure it took me 8 times to get perfect about how many times this truck landed.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to review other auto racing flips from another series, let me know in the comments below. I'll mainly stick to the main divisions of NASCAR. I'll sometimes do one-off from ARCA and the lower divisions. Other than that, thank you for watching.